This is uh, WRT54G2 uh, version 1 POE mod DDWRT firmware upgrade. Uh, put it in one of these uh, waterproof housing slash flat panel. I don't know if it's 19 or whatever, 12 dB panel antenna. Still need to solder the connector. Take these janky dudes off. Solder a better antenna on it. A little square inch POS, those are. Uh, so let's get down to business. We have an Ethernet cable going in here. It's being fed PoE, which is called power over Ethernet. That's to keep the traces from short now. So, right here is the mod. Unfortunately, it's not very clear, but I'll break it down. Uh, any router can basically be modded to a PoE device. Stick to the golden rule, do not get positive and negative mixed up. Uh, this power connector right here, you need to check the polarities on it. Make sure you understand which is negative and positive. As you can tell on this version, the uh, first one, or this outside piece, is negative. Sender's positive. Relay that over to here. Uh, not sure about the uh, actual pinouts, but if you look at it at this view, with the RJ45's switching ports looking at you, on the top row, the first pin on your left top corner is negative. Go down to the bottom row, second one in on the left is positive. Once again, top one all the way to the top to the left is negative. Second one in on the left on the bottom row is positive. And then you need to have a PoE injector is what they call that. That's your injector. Uh, golden rule number two about voltage is the proper amount. If you're going to use one of these PoE injectors, use the OEM adapter that used to go into that port for the power. Use the OEM one for your router. Uh, that would be my best advice to not burn it up voltage-wise. But this is just simply an injector, like a coupler with some resistors that injects the voltage. So this part is universal. But definitely, definitely use your OEM, Linksys, Belkin, whatever router you decide to use uh, adapter. Because if not, chances are you get the wrong one. You're going to smoke your shit. So, that's my PoE slash WRT, uh, DDWRT firmware. Um mods I'd have to go in and show you on line the inside of the router but that's really unimportant just go on to the website download the uh, firmware and upgrade it yourself you can take a look at that but this is uh, my PoE hack of the day that's how you do an internal uh, PoE hack on a router just with two simple jumps off of your header going to your power port. Simple, 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 simple. That's it.